Hey again, it's Dr. Field from Wholesomeness Rockford Chiropractic, and today we're teaming up again with Movement Fitness to talk to you a little bit about your piriformis muscle. Now, the piriformis muscle goes from your sacrum all the way out to the upper part of your leg, and that allows you to laterally or externally rotate your hip. Now, things that cause some piriformis complications would be being flexed at the waist for longer periods of time. So, sitting in a car for too long or a long plane ride can irritate it. We can also see piriformis complications from squatting with too much weight or improper form. Also, certain traumas like falling can irritate the piriformis muscle as well. Now, this irritation that I'm talking about can mimic sciatic type pain since the sciatic nerve runs right alongside the piriformis muscle and sometimes through it. So pain that you would see would be pain that shoots from the low back down your leg to a, a specific spot or some tightness in your gluteus muscles. Now just know that when the piriformis muscle is the cause of sciatic type pain, it's known as piriformis syndrome. Now chiropractic adjustments to the upper lumbar spine where the nerves come out to the piriformis can help relieve the stress on those nerves and allow your piriformis muscle to function better. Now let's go down the street and talk to Justin at Movement Fitness and he can talk to us a little bit about how to stretch and maintain a healthy piriformis muscle. Hey everyone, it's Justin Kegley with Movement Fitness talking about how we can stretch and strengthen your piriformis. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our back. We're gonna take the side that we wanna stretch. So say my right leg here. I'm gonna put my right ankle up on my left knee. I'm gonna take my right hand here to start and I'm gonna press that out. So we're gonna hold this for about 15 seconds or so. We're gonna stretch this out nice and easy. And then the second thing we can do here is we can take our knee and we can pull it back into us here. So we can rotate that knee back toward our opposite shoulder. And we can hold this for about a 15 to 20 second stretch as well. So those are two things that we can do on our back. Another way that we can do this, if I wanna say stretch my left side now, it's a little advanced maneuver. So what we can do is put our feet at a 90, 90 position. So our legs here, 90 degrees here, 90 degree at the knee here. We're gonna put our left hand down Nice tall posture here, and I'm going to reach straight out, and I'm going to get a stretch along that left side of my piriformis here. So nice and easy stretch. We're going to hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds as well. We can do that a couple times on each side, and then obviously flip around and do it the other way. Something from a strengthening perspective that we can do, it's always nice to have bands when we're strengthening our piriformis, but one thing we can do is we can get into this position here, we can do our clam exercise. So we're gonna lay on down here, nice and easy, legs about a 45 degree angle, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate that leg up, we're gonna take that knee out. So we're gonna come up and down here, nice and easy, bring that up and down. We can do that, do a couple sets of those, maybe 10 to 12 repetitions, and that is a way that we can stretch and strengthen our piriformis.